So eventually, you're going to need to take your working circuit and you're going to need to put it inside your case like this. And you're going to need to grab a screw and put that mounting screw here and here. And you can imagine already there's going to be a huge problem because you're not going to be able to fit your drill inside here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to mount this from the outside. To do this, you're going to need a power drill. You're going to need a set of drill bits, your finished working circuit, the case in which you're going to put your circuit in, and a pencil. So the next step is to plan where your circuit's going to go. So over here is my switch that I've already drilled into my case. I've got some sound holes for where my speaker is going to be. So the speaker is going to live inside like this. The switch is over here, which means the most logical place for me to put the circuit is probably down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this my bottom and your first step is to flip it over. We're actually going to be drilling from the outside here. So to plan where it's going to go, make sure that you know where the bottom of your case or the box is. So here, right over there is where I glued the bottom onto my box. I do not want to be putting my circuit in here. Also, as you can see, the walls of the box are over here. So I also do not want to be putting my circuit in here. And because the walls are over here as well, I do not want to be putting my circuit over here. So just to be safe, I'm going to put my circuit somewhere here. So anywhere within this range, is a good place to put my circuit. Just not here, here, or here. Now, I'm gonna put that circuit here. And you can see here are my two mounting holes. I'm gonna start by making a dot. And this is where I'm going to drill my very first hole. Now when you're picking a drill bit for the screw, you want to find the one that matches the diameter as closely as possible and is just a little bit bigger. So this one here is very clearly way too big. So we don't want to be using this one. This one here is way too small, which means this screw is not going to fit through that hole. This one is a little bit bigger than the thread, but it's not bigger than the diameter of this head over here. So this is going to be a really good drill bit for me to use. For our particular project, you are going to need an M3 by 20 millimeter screw. M3 means three millimeters in diameter and 20 millimeters means this thread is 20 millimeters long. This drill bit that you will be using is a 1 8 inch drill bit. So we're going to go ahead and put that in our drill. Now that we have selected the correct drill bit and we put it in our drill, we're going to take our case, we're going to open up our vise, and we're going to go ahead and clamp it. There's the mark that I made earlier. Take the drill, drill through. Now, take your circuit, put the screw through your circuit, and stick the screw into that hole over there. At this point, you want to just kind of rotate it or figure out where you want to put the second hole. So I don't like the fact that it's twisted over like this. I'm going to get it straighter. 
And at this point, I'm going to make a dot. I'm going to pull the screw out and the circuit out. And I'm going to drill this hole here. And I'm going to test this again. So screw goes in. And screw goes in. That fits nicely. Now for the final test. And now for the final test, we're not going to be putting our circuit board on the outside of the case because that would defeat the entire purpose of the case. We're going to put it on the inside with our two mounting holes that we've drilled. So I've got our circuit board, I've got our screw, and what we're going to do is we're going to get it inside that hole. Perfect. Now our next goal, and it's hard to see over here, is we're going to take our second screw and we're going to try to put it through that mounting hole and get it so that it goes into the hole that we just drilled. And that's how we drill the holes to make sure that we can mount the circuit board in there. Later on, we're going to grab some standoffs to put that up and we're going to secure these with nuts, but for the purposes of this stage, our goal is just to make sure that we've got our holes for our circuit board.